the legendary Delaware Bay Oyster Schooner isn't seen much these days. A few cruise East Coast waters for sport and pleasure. And a few more, but engine powered and without sail since the late 1940s, continue to dredge Delaware Bay for the oyster. You can discover this picturesque but hard-working world in southeastern New Jersey. Now we'll be able to get to go into a couple packing houses and see what they do with oysters. John Loper of Ocean them. City and I did just that, and right off the bat picked up on the no-nonsense nature of the place. Beaver Dam, Dividing Creek. Oh yeah, they're all original names down here. We were headed for the town of Bivell on the Morris River, not far from Shell Pile in Port Norris. Bivalve is another name for clamor oyster. Bivalve is well named. Our first stop, of course, was the Bivalve Packing Company, which sends fresh in the shell oysters all over the country. Steve Fleetwood runs oyster schooners from here and took us out. John, a trained boat builder, loved it. It's amazing, some of these boats are 100 years old. It's a living maritime museum. The Morris River was much busier in times past, but remaining oystermen are tough and carry on each season. The oysters have to be planted every day, and then we can go back out when Mother Nature sees fit to let our oysters grow up big enough to harvest. Oyster beds are seeded and harvested, much like bean fields, and like farming, are helped by science to increase productivity. We were really impressed by the work of the Haskin Shellfish Research Lab to improve oyster welfare and habitat. Bivalve is more of a place to work than to live, and everyone, like crabber Kevin Brown, is tied to the sea. Hey, hi. How you doing? Oh, yeah. What you doing? Uh, taking the groups off crab pots. Oh, really? Huh? Close by, John and I found the hull of a 1932 Jersey-built oyster schooner. The 107-foot dowager is being restored as a sailing classroom by the Delaware Bay Schooner Project, headed by Megan Rapp. 49. 49. It'll take lots of donations and elbow grease to get the schooner looking like it did back in the 30s, but the project has a good start and a small museum in nearby Port Norris. Not far from the museum, we walk by mountains of shells at Peterson Packing. They'll be returned to the sea to cultivate new oyster crops. We're the original recyclers. Really? Harold Bickings and his highly skilled shuckers de-shell fresh oysters and get them shipped out hours after harvesting. After all this, we wanted a payoff, so we drove to neighboring Morristown, which was built by schooner captains, to sample Freddie Hunt's fried oysters. Hunt runs the fire department and its seafood festival each October. The weekend event fries up 17,000 of these guys. It's held right here at the firehouse, and it's sponsored by four fire departments. And we try to put a little bit of tender loving care on it. They look great. I'll take them playing, I love it. Well, they are very good. Ready? 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 Ready?